Wait a minute. Tell me we have a fallen colonel due south of Little Round Top. Yes, sir. Don't die on me, Carter. No, I haven't, sir. This is it for me. Tomorrow morning, the sun is going to rise on thousands of dead soldiers right on this ground. And I'm not going to see that sunrise. It's all right. It's all right. Someday the sun will rise on the United Nation. And you will know that these brave soldiers did not die in vain. They died so that every American, north and south, black and white, could live together as brothers. Bird, no matter what happens on this day, your words will live on. I promise you that. Carter. Remember the last words of the heroic Joseph Carter as a rallying cry to unite our nation. Hey, soldier. Pretty sure his last words were, I just shit myself. No. He spoke of a sunrise and dying as United soldiers or United Americans. Yeah, no, he did say those things. No argument here, but pretty sure his last words were, I just shit myself. No, certainly not. That's, that's not right. Well, that's not right or that's not accurate because I was right here. I have not moved and pretty certain in his last words he spoke of, well, the turd he let go of in his dungarees. Well, yes, perhaps literally. But his last sentiment, his true last words were a call for unity. It matters not how they were literally said. Hey guys, uh, I'm the guy who takes down a man's last words as they were literally said. That's just what the doctor ordered, huh? Good to see you. Good to man. see you too. It smells like poop. It does. Um, doesn't so, it? what uh, were his last words? I just. No, 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 no. His last words were Tomorrow, the sun will rise over the bodies of the dead soldiers on this field. And then the next day, the sun will rise again, because that's what happens. And then we'll be brothers and united. Oh, all right. Um, all right. It, 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 it kind of sounded like you were uh, paraphrasing. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Kind of all about accuracy, so. Okay, well, if it's accuracy you want, I am your man. Okay. His last words were, I just shit. Okay, no, myself. no, no. That sounds okay. more concrete. Okay, okay. we'll no, go no, no, with that. We'll no, go with that. Just shit. Myself. Maybe he did say something about shit. Well, we're agreed, then. We'll, we'll go with the shit thing. All, all right, right no, 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 no. All right, li listen. I don't know how certain any of this phrasing is. The truth is, we may never know the true last words of Colonel Carter. <laughs> I fucked my horse and I liked it. Boom. I think we got it. Got it. We all heard that, got right? Got it. I heard it. I fucked my horse and I liked no, don't, it. Don't write that. Don't write that. Do you not care about the honor, the passion, and fervor of one of the great men of our nation's history? Look, I understand to you these are just words. But when remembering heroes, it's not the words we must commit to memory. But the men who said them. I mean, I have a pretty solemn duty to get these words verbatim, and my boss has been riding me lately. I... I need the internship. Well, I get that. Times are tough. There's a civil war going exactly, on. I understand. Exactly. It's who you know. It's who you know. You know. That is. Internships must be hard to come by these days. Mm -hmm. I'll give the kid a break. 
Oh, it's between the shit thing and the horse fucking thing. Go with the shit thing. No words. Have a good day, guys. And so it was. The last words of the great war hero, Joseph Carter. I just shit myself. But those who were there, and their children, and their children's children know a different story. His true last words were the horse-fucking thing. <laughs>